On November 11, 2001, more than 56 years after the end of the conflict, Leon County's veterans of World War II got their first memorial, a life-size bronze statue of an aged veteran set in a circular brick walkway. The dream of a group of citizens to see a World War II memorial in Tallahassee came true that day when the memorial was dedicated and unveiled at the Leon County Courthouse. When Leon County officials began preparing to install the World War II memorial, they ran into an unexpected obstacle, the courthouse five-story parking garage. A portion of the garage's concrete roof slab, which is buried beneath the courthouse lawn, needed to be reinforced to support the monument, which by some estimates could weigh as much as 135 tons. There were cracks in the slab, cracks in the columns, and in the beams. Tom Brantley, the county's director of facilities management, who was also a professional engineer, said the cracks could have been quite serious had an additional load been applied to the top side of the deck without strengthening being applied. The solution? Three-inch wide carbon fiber reinforced polymer strips, or CFRP, which is 16 times stronger than steel. We were the chosen contractor, and we want to show you the level of technical complexity we were faced with. So let's get started. First, the evaluation of the structure by the engineer is required to determine the material as well as the loading characteristics. The engineer of record was Dr. Primus Matinga of Structural Diagnostic and Forensic Engineering. Upon commencement of the work, safety, of course, is our first concern on any project, and the site was prepared per OSHA regulations with signage, barriers, etc. Shoring was a huge undertaking. Take a look at these riggings we customized just for this project. Of course, we did this under the watchful eye of Dr. Matinga, the engineer. They took on the majority of the load of the plaza deck above as we performed the work. The following photos show more of this process. Here we're excavating the lawn above the garage to access the concrete surface of the deck. You see here we also had to work at night, which was necessary at times. The sidewalks also had to be removed above the deck, which was another major undertaking, as you can see here. Preparation of the concrete surface is critical in the application process of CFRP. After the removal of the lawn and waterproofing material, we removed excessive concrete paste through a shot blasting procedure. A thorough cleaning is required to remove any latent particles, and then the application of epoxy resin, or primer, provides a level surface profile for the CFRP material. The exposed deck revealed the concrete cracks and spalls, so prior to starting the strengthening process, we needed to perform extensive concrete repairs above and below the deck. In this particular area, we're adding rebar for strengthening purposes. For spalled concrete, which was found above the garage's support columns, we had to excavate these areas and completely expose the entire diameter of the rebar, and then sandblast to remove all bond-inhibiting corrosion, and then we applied two coats of Sika Armatec, which is an anti-corrosive, and then re-pour the excavated areas. For further strengthening in these areas, we used Hexalent Wrap, which is a fabric form of CFRP. Now we treat the cracks a little differently. For crack repair and detailing, 1,300 lineal feet of epoxy crack injection was required on the surface of the deck and at the garage ceiling. Crack injection works by filling the entire length and depth of the crack, which fuses the slab back together and prevents water from getting into the concrete and deteriorating it further. Column and beam repairs above and below deck were also necessary prior to moving forward with the CFRP. First above ground, we had to excavate the base of each column to install our waterproofing material. Here you see concrete beams below deck inside the parking garage, which were also in a severe state of corrosion, and we followed the same method as the concrete repairs. As we said before, we excavate to expose the steel, sandblast, apply anti-corrosive, frame and re-pour with fresh concrete. Here we're testing the concrete prior to moving forward with the CFRP process. Now the real strengthening begins. We'll start above deck and you can see here we're using our custom-built CFRP extruder to create the strips in the desired lengths. Carbon fiber reinforcing polymer strips are used to support additional loads and strengthen structures weakened by deterioration, construction errors, environmental effects, and extending the life of concrete, masonry, steel structures, and even wood elements. CFRP has been used on bridges, parking garages, schools, just to name a few, for nearly 20 years. 
Once we've completed installing the strips, we then blanket the same material over a major portion of the deck. Here's some more photos of this process. Below deck, on the roof of the garage, we follow the same process as above. After the placement of the CFRP, we replace the waterproofing material at all penetrations and intersections. We also prepared the surfaces for application of fireproofing to be installed at all CFRP locations. The Aerial Companies has the unique characteristics of providing and self-performing all concrete and structural repairs, waterproofing, stucco repairs, and painting, just to name a few. We have over a dozen certifications by the top waterproofing and structural repair product manufacturers, including the SECA Corporation's CFRP application, of which we utilized for this project, and the manufacturer's representatives are involved as an integral part of the team. We want to thank our team, the engineer of record Dr. Matinga, our project manager Brian Peachy, and our engineer on staff Jeff Parzik, who all did a wonderful job. Also a special thanks to Thomas Brantley, the Director of Facilities Management and Construction at Leon County. The dedication of the World War II Veterans Memorial at the Leon County Courthouse was a wonderful and moving event. The attendance of hundreds of people is a further testament of the appreciation for the men and women of World War II. We were proud to be a part of it. Thank you for your interest in our work and please call us here at the Aerial Companies for your structural restoration or building maintenance needs.